This is the 40 inch Panzer AK 12 gauge shotgun with an 18.5 inch barrel. And this may be the definition of a range day head turner. Let's find out what makes this special. Functionally, this is similar to an AK. As far as what it shoots down range, that's obviously gonna be different. These particular AKs were based on the Russian Saiga design with all of the accessories, mags, and so on from that design being 100% interchangeable with this particular model. Looking at pictures online, I thought to myself, there is no way the wood on this would be as reddish in person as it was in the picture. I'm here to tell you that I was wrong. It is red and it's beautiful. The design roots of this firearm being introduced in 1947 with the AK-47, otherwise known as the Avomat Kalashnikov, abbreviated down to AK, and I get the feeling our editor is going to have to put the correct pronunciation in for that one as well. Avtomat Kalashnikov. I get the feeling that back in 1947, the designers never imagined that over 70 years later, they would be making shotguns based on the design that they had just come up with. Moving on to why you clicked on this video in the first place, the AK-12 from Panzer. It is a very well-balanced and surprisingly lightweight shotgun, being 8.1 pounds. Let's dive a little bit farther into it. The 12 gauge, starting with the tip up front here, is surprisingly simple for once in my videos. There is nothing up front. You do have your choke on the inside of the barrel here, so it's threaded on the inside for the choke. However, everything else is just simple, which I do actually appreciate in this particular design. Moving down the barrel, on the top of the gas tube, you are greeted with the front sight. And I would say it is the gold standard for sights. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But quite literally, it is a gold dot on the top. I'll try to keep my bad jokes out of these videos from now on. Making our way down the red crested barrel, you have the first of two sling mounts. And yes, they are metal. Just a little bit farther down the barrel, you are greeted with our rear sight. This is also mounted to the gas tube, which should render these very stable overall. Down on the right side of the gun, you do have our charging handle, which I must admit coming out of the box is very smooth. So your mileage may vary a little bit with that, but it is very smooth out of the box. You also have your AK safety right here, as one would expect. This series of AK is upgraded with a true milled receiver, so as overall, this shotgun is built like a tank. The trigger guard is square, which I thought was a bit weird at first. Actually, does provide you a nice place to put your finger when not on the trigger. And of course, good habits are the best kind of safety. Your trigger pull has just a little bit of take up and the brake is on the back side of that take up, making it almost difficult to find. Let me show you what I mean. You start your pull and ever so slightly as you start to pull it, it will break at the very back just like so. After a little bit of practice, I'm sure you can get good with that. However, it does feel a little bit random when I first try to pull the trigger. All right, and the reset. The reset is crisp. However, it does tend to get stuck right here. So you do have to make sure when you pull it to release hard, if you release slowly, it can get a little bit stuck on that reset. Overall, it's a good trigger to get some rounds down the range. Next to the trigger guard, you do have your paddle mag release. It does work very well. And in this particular variant, you do get two five round magazines in the box. Do remember to check your description as sometimes these can change from the manufacturer. Flipper over and you do actually see you get your accessory rail. That way you can put pretty much any red dot or scope or sight that you wish to on this. Hopefully my editor is showing you a photo of what some of the accessories can look like on the mount. Just remember the accessories are not included in this particular deal that I have here. The wooden grip itself does feel solid as can be. It is completely smooth, which did strike me as odd at first, but you do have a middle finger rest right here and it is very solid to hold in the hand. On the back, you do get your AK style takedown button right here which I can't show you how to take down the firearm, so I won't do it. Moving on to the beautiful wooden stock. The side carvings on this do help to reduce a little bit of weight and are some easier grip points when actually moving the firearm or maneuvering it around different places. On the butt itself, there is a nice rubber pad to help with some of that 12 gauge recoil. In conclusion, this AK-12 gauge from Panzer is built like a tank and for around $500, that makes this a great value. With that being said, if you have any experiences with the Panzer AK-12 gauge, leave a review below. We would love to hear your comments. That is all I have for you today. God bless. It is time to end.